gospel. I want to pray for each one of them. To receive the power. Come on, come on. An anointing from the Lord. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each one of them. Especially the people are walking here. I bless each one of them spiritually all the years of their life. This is a wonderful day. You give to each and every people. When I am sharing this gospel, thank you for your touching each and every people and sending the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit to each and every people. I bless the city in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So everybody, before I start to preach this gospel, I want to sing a song. When I am singing a song, I know the power of the Lord, it will move in this place. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. And worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, and worship His holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day beginning, it's time to sing your song again. And whatever may happen, and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, and worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, and worship your holy name. Praise the Lord. The people are walking here. Today, I am standing only for one reason, to preach the gospel to everybody. Preach the gospel to the nations. Come on. Preach the gospel that is Preaching Jesus Christ is the only one Lord and Savior in this world. That is what I am preaching today to each and every people. I would like to read today Book of Romans, chapter 1, where the three Bible says, where the two Bible says, I would like to read Gospel, Book of Romans, chapter 1, where it is one onwards. The Paul, 
a born servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated to the gospel of God, which he promised before through his prophets in the holy scriptures. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who was born of the seed of David, according to the flesh, and declared to be the Son of God with the power according to the spirit of holiness. By the resurrection from the death, through him, we have received grace and apostleship. For the obedience of the faith among all nations. Sorry. Through him, we have received the grace and apostleship. For obedience of the faith among all nations. For his name, among whom you also are called of Jesus Christ. Such a wonderful and beautiful, amazing and powerful gospel. Come on. Today I am sharing to each and every people. When we are reading this Bible, from the Genesis till the Revelation, Governor. only one thing, thank you for hearing the word of God, faith is coming by hearing the word of God, you want one, come on, Come forward. God bless you, everybody. Okay. Did you born again? Did you accept Jesus Christ? Yes, already. Already born. Why do you want to come to a church then? Sorry? Why do you want to come to a church then? Church? Yeah. This I'm is a church. from here. Where are you living? I live in Swindon. Oh, Swindon. Swindon. I had been there, Swindon City Centre, three times to really? preach the gospel. Again, I'm coming to Swindon. Nice place. When are you coming? You uh, coming next month. Next month, I'm going to come to Swindon. Okay. April, I'm going to... This is my number. Give a text message. What's your name? Jane. Can I pray for you? Yeah. What's your uh, Jane, right? Any you have any prayer request? Um, uh, education, my A-level. Okay, I'm going to pray, okay? Holy Father, I pray for Sister Jane right now. Jane is a child of God like me. I bless her sister spiritually, all the areas, in all the areas of life. In Jesus' name, I pray, I pray for her education, mom and dad, all the families. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you, okay? Send a text message, okay? Yeah. I can come to you soon again. Thank you, God bless you. So, today, God bless you, everybody, okay? Anybody you know, want to pray, come forward, I can pray, okay? If you really need to pray, you can come forward. I can pray for you. Praise the Lord. So, today, according to the Bible, I want to declare in the city, Help. 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 By Jesus Christ is the only one living God. Bible says through Jesus Christ everybody, all the people are walking in the city center. You are called as an apostle to preach the gospel according to the book of Romans chapter 1. I am not joking. I am preaching true gospel. In front of everybody. 2023 years before and even today too. Why everybody is preaching the same one Bible? Why all the people are preaching the same gospel? Come on. Thank you. The reason is 
Bible says Jesus Christ is the living God. All the books it is already written in this Bible according the revelation of the Holy Spirit. That is what Apostle Paul said. I am not at all ashamed to preach the gospel because this gospel is giving the salvation to each and every people. Salvation to each and every people. From city to city, from nation to nations. Our God is giving the salvation to each and every people. You know. Jesus Christ is the God Israel. During the time of creation of this world, Book of Genesis chapter 1 Bible says Our God created this world by the word Praise the Lord Go to John chapter 1 Bible says This word became flesh That means the God is manifested in your flesh in this world to give the salvation to each and every people. God bless everybody. This gospel is a miracle. Whoever believing this gospel Thank you. Give it to somebody. Who believes that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Bible saying, you are getting salvation. Not only you are getting salvation, but each and every people are getting eternal life and our God will forgive your sins. In this world, only one God can able to forgive your sins. That is Jesus Christ. No, any other God except Jesus Christ can forgive your sins. That is what Bible says. A one hundred percent clarity to each and every people. As many as received that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Our God has given a right, a power to become the children of God. No matter what is the situation. No matter which country you are from. No one cares. No one. I'm not I'm not looking for anybody. I'm preaching gospel. God bless you. I'm doing my duty. I'm not caring the people are hearing or not. Praise the Lord. Maybe somebody will hear. Somebody will receive eternal life. I'm preaching the gospel for somebody. Not for everybody. According to the Bible, Bible says, as soon as received 
that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Our God is giving a right, a power to become the children of God. All the people are wanting to receive the salvation in Jesus Christ. God bless you. Our God will never look at which country you are from. No, no. Come on. Did he born again? Come to church, okay? There's a church, wonderful church service every Sunday. Come. Don't forget. Our God will never look at your background, which country you are from. Come on. I can pray for a child. Come on. And the pastor preaching gospel to everybody. Did he born again? Did he born again? Did he accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. You have to believe. Okay, come to your church. God bless you. Our God will never look at your background. Our God will never look at your circumstances where you are living. Our God is looking at your heart whether you are believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior or not. Thank you. So today, our God is giving an opportunity and power to each and every people Come on. to receive this wonderful salvation in your life. Book of Romans chapter 8, Bible says, Come, come on, come on. Take it, take it. Don't lose it. Eternal. Book of Romans. Chapter 8, Bible says, There is no condemnation those who are in Christ Jesus. But there is a condemnation. The people are not believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Come on. Thank you for hearing, Madam God. Okay. Thank you, Lord. So today, there is a reality. There is a heaven. As well as there is a hell. Praise the Lord. God bless you. This powerful Lord is your Lord and Savior in your life. No excuse in that. Praise the Lord. Come on. Everybody, God bless you. That is what Bible said. Those who are in Christ Jesus. You want to pray? You want me to pray? I can pray for you. God will heal you. Bible says, Come on. Those who are in Christ Jesus, you are the new creation. How are you? You want to pray? Come, I can pray for you. What are you doing? What are you doing? We just said that. Can I pray for you? Yeah, yeah. Did you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? Sorry, I can't understand English. Just understand a little. No problem. Okay. Uh, Can I pray for you one minute? What? What's, what's your name? Eric. Heavenly Father, I pray for, I'm going to pray for you, okay? Yes, sir. I pray for Brother Eric right now. I pray for the brother. Come, come, come. I bless his brother spiritually. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen? All right, all right. All right. God bless you. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay. God bless you. Thank you. Keep it one. Yeah, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. Give to her, okay? okay. Give to thank her you. also. Read and say amen. You are getting eternal life. Okay? I'm not joking. I'm preaching gospel. This powerful gospel can get salvation. Okay? I start to preach the gospel from the city center in the year of 2017. From 
this will be? About eight people got salvation and baptized. I am so much a proud to declare this powerful and mighty gospel to everybody. How that all the eight people received the salvation and took the baptism? moving towards them. All the people are working. I got the gospel. I want to declare to each and every people. Come on. Give it to somebody. Bible says there is no condemnation. Come to fellowship. Okay, tomorrow. There is no condemnation those who are in Christ Jesus. But there is a condemnation that people are not believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Come on. Come on. Take it. Take it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tomorrow I won't be here. Only today. Okay. Thank you for hearing me, Adam God. Okay. Do you want again? I can pray for you. Come here. I can pray for you. You want to pray? No, no. God bless you. Read and say Amen. You are getting eternal life. Eternal life is very important. Praise the Lord. Eternal life is very important. So everybody, please read that. Read that. Fire. And say Amen. You are getting eternal life. Say so today, I was talking the people, those who are believing in Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Bible says you are the new creation. You are created in unity for Christ Jesus to preach the gospel to everybody. You are the new creation that means You are the new creation, that means your wicked life, all the things which you are facing in your past life. But when you believe this Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, Bible says our God will forget all these things. Again, Bible is giving 100% guarantee to each and every people. You are the children of God by believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. This is a wonderful reality. Powerful truth. I'm declaring from the city today to the nations. Bible says, by believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you all are the children of God. children of God. Bible is giving a holy life to each and every people in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. In Christ Jesus we all are the righteousness of the Lord. God is not to be seen 
you are a sinful person in Christ Jesus. Bible says, Book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 16, Bible says, Apostle Paul was saying, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. For in it, the righteousness of God is revealed. From faith to faith, praise the Lord. For each and every people, today I am preaching in front of everybody that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. In Jesus Christ, there is no darkness at all. Praise the Lord. What is the meaning of darkness in this Bible saying? What is the meaning of darkness according to the Bible? Darkness, that means the work of the devil. The light that is the presence of the Lord. Tony. Praise the Lord. So today, God bless you. The people are walking here. This is the will of God. But each and every people, you should walk by the presence of the Lord, not only in the city, but in all the days of your life, in Christ Jesus. Come on, I am preaching gospel. Don't lose it. Come to your church. Have a wonderful church service. Jesus Christ loves you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Book of Ephesians chapter 1. Where is the eleven Bible says? God bless you everybody, okay? You have to pray. Where is the eleven Bible says? In him also we have obtained an inheritance being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. Come on, come on. I'm preaching a true gospel. Powerful gospel. This gospel can change your life. Only one gospel can change your life. That is Bible. That is what I'm preaching here today. Praise the Lord. This gospel can change your life. This gospel can heal your sickness. This gospel can make you a great in the nation. This gospel can get the salvation. This gospel can get you a healthy body. In Christ Jesus. That is what, as I said before, Gospel Book of Romans, chapter 8, Bible says, those who are in Christ Jesus. There is no condemnation. This is the minimum way from your side our God is asking from each and every people to just step forward and believe this Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. 
God bless you. Praise the Lord. Say today. Maybe you are broken hearted. Maybe you are thinking. You are the point of the death. But I go to the Bible. I want to declare. A wonderful thing to each and every people. Jesus Christ loves each and every people. No matter what is your life. No matter where you are living. All the God is a righteous to God to provide a salvation. An eternal life. Come on, come on, come on. To each and every people, those who are seeking Jesus Christ. So today, I want to say my own experience in Christ Jesus right now. 2017, I start to preach the gospel. From the city. 2013, I born again and baptized. Come to okay. Thank Come you. Come to. Did you born again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to church. Okay. This address. Every Sunday. 2013, I born again and baptized. I was a broken hearted person. But when I believe, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Our God has given eternal life and joyful heart to me. So today, if I am preaching this gospel in front of everybody, I am preaching the gospel is a true gospel according my experience in my life. So today, I want to say one thing to all the people, Jesus Christ is the only one God, only one Savior in this world. Come on, God bless you. Jesus Christ loves you, everybody. Take it. Okay, God, come to your church. This is your church. Only Jesus Christ can get the salvation to each and every people, those who are living in this world. Only Jesus Christ can forgive your sins. Doesn't matter your situation which is coming against your life. Our God is a merciful God. According to the Bible, compassion and mercy is the nature of our Lord. Praise the Lord. When you are looking at some other religion, most of the people are doing something are receiving something from God. Got it. Come on, come on, come on. But I got the Bible. You don't need to do anything from your side. I got the Bible. You have to believe and receive this God is your Lord and Savior. Then, you are getting salvation, you got salvation, you are saved, your sins are forgiven by the blood of Jesus Christ. You are getting the inheritance by the blood of Jesus Christ, wherever you are. I am preaching true gospel to everybody. I don't know how many number of people are believing. I will have one day 
you will believe and you will get wonder oh this was my lord praise the lord so today the people are walking here jesus christ is a living god come come to church okay you're born again yeah give to me give to mom and send this address okay come to church okay today i want to declare to each and every people jesus christ meet your heart today everything is free from jesus christ eternal life is free salvation is free life everlasting is free everything is free in the name of jesus christ praise the lord so today i want to say to each and every people come on come on come on come on come on bible says jesus christ is the light of the world come on oh you are you are also doing Oh, God thank you, brother. What bless you, okay? You. God bless you. Thank Wonderful. you. Thank you, brother. Bible says, "Those who are in Christ Jesus." First John chapter five. Bible says, "You are from above. You are not at all from earth. The people are living in this world. The people are born again. I got the Bible." You are seated in the heaven. Praise the Lord. You are from the heavenly places. This is a reality. Wonderful and powerful gospel. Today I am preaching to each and every people. Come on. Only one God can. Get to a place in heaven that is Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Some other religion is saying Jesus Christ is a prophet. No, Jesus Christ is not a prophet. Jesus Christ is a living God. Praise the Lord. When I am preaching this gospel in the city center, hey, I'm good, man. Thank you. I want to declare a wonderful truth that Jesus Christ can forgive your sins and get you wonderful life, heal your sickness, physically, spiritually, mentally. You will get the healing. Come on, give give to somebody. I'm not joking. I'm preaching powerful gospel, powerful gospel. Praise the Lord. I'm not joking. Tomorrow I will be here. Sometimes tomorrow I will preach some other place. But the reality cannot be changed. Truth cannot be changed. Praise the Lord. So that all the people are walking in the city Sunday. Come out from your wicked ways and receive this powerful and mighty gospel. Wherever you are, living. I'm not shouting. God bless you. I'm preaching gospel. Yes. God bless you. Praise the Lord. So everybody, I got the Bible. Bible says, Book of Ephesians, chapter two. Where this one Bible says, and He made alive who were dead in your sins. All the people are getting a new life in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. So today, the people are broken hearted. God bless you. Jesus Christ loves you. Thank you. Did He born again? Did you born again? Yeah. Why don't you come to church on Sunday? Okay. Come. This address. The people are broken-hearted. 
the people are lost to something in your life the people are thinking come on give to somebody give to somebody no the people are thinking you are the rejected person i want to say one good news to each and every people what is good news good news is jesus christ can help you praise the lord bible says lots of broken hearted people they were living in this world when jesus christ was preaching this gospel 2023 years before bible says the people those who came and asked something to get from jesus christ jesus christ was healed even tonight our god will never waste his time in front of you but the people when you are hearing this gospel and believing this god and coming in front of the lord and asking to get something from your heart definitely bible says our god will never put aside your face i am preaching the reality so today the people are lucky only one way you can come out and receive the salvation that is only through jesus christ brother on come on get born again get born again come to church okay only one way you are getting joyful heart that is through jesus christ come on chili peppers god bless you only one way you are getting the forgiveness of your sin that is only through jesus christ brother on so all the ladies and gentlemen are walking in the city before i finish my preaching i want to say the good news that jesus christ can make you great in the nation the good news is jesus christ can get you a joyful heart jesus christ can heal your sickness can i pray for it can i pray for it jesus christ can get you in heavens what are the promises which ever god has given to abraham jacob